Beyond solid, liquid, and gas lies the fourth state of matter, plasma. Plasma is ionized gas, energized to the point where electrons are freed from their atoms or molecules, releasing extreme levels of energy. Energy that can be harnessed for a variety of applications, such as power generation. Look skyward and you'll see the most vivid example of plasma in action, the sun. Lightning is perhaps Mother Nature's most dramatic example of plasma. A breakthrough technology, plasma gasification applies these same principles to produce energy that is exceptionally low in emissions. The plasma torch is the basic tool for making controlled, continuous lightning. Electricity passes from the tip of one electrode to the tip of another. Air exposed to the lightning bolt becomes plasma and releases enormous energy in the form of heat, 10,000 degrees Celsius. Then, gas is pushed between the electrodes to form a plasma plume. The heat is intensely localized and it dissipates quickly. You can safely stand within feet of the plasma torch. But if you draw air through plasma torches and into a cupola containing a medium that retains the heat and distributes it evenly, one creates a zone of influence hot enough to burst the bonds of most molecules, resulting in simple elemental structures. Metals that do not vaporize will instead melt and be captured in an inert glass form that cannot be penetrated by air or water. Energy-laden, carbonaceous materials such as municipal solid waste will be converted into synthesis gas. The clean synthesis gas is then used to generate electricity for homes, offices, and a variety of industrial applications. And all this without incineration. This is how plasma gasification works. Municipal solid waste is fed into the plasma gasifier. The plasma gasifier has four to six electric plasma torches that heat air to the plasma state. The hot air is then injected into the gasifier, heating a bed of metallurgical coke and limestone to seven to 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot gases now in the bed material break down the fuel to produce a synthesis gas or syngas consisting primarily of hydrogen and carbon monoxide gases. The syngas is isolated, cleansed of pollutants and particulate matter, and then used to generate electric power. The remaining inorganic components of the fuel, which do not vaporize, are converted to molten slag, collected through the bottom of the gasifier and cooled into a glass-like byproduct. The vitrified slag can be safely used as roadbed material for building highways or in other construction projects. The newly created syngas exits through the top of the plasma gasifier and enters a heat recovery unit where the excess heat is recaptured to create steam, which can be used later in the syngas cleaning process. The cooled syngas then moves to the bag house, a particulate removal system which separates particulate matter from the syngas. The syngas continues through the cleaning process. The cleaning process includes a series of scrubbing and chemical stripping processes that further cools the syngas and then removes pollutants. Once the syngas is cleaned, the remaining gas, composed largely of hydrogen and carbon monoxide, is compressed and then combusted in the gas turbine. The gas turbine spins the generator to produce electricity. Exhaust heat from the gas turbine is then used to create steam in the heat recovery steam generator. This steam is used to drive a steam turbine which spins another generator to create additional clean energy through an efficient combined cycle process. Plasma gasification is an environmentally responsible technology. When municipal solid waste decomposes in landfills, Gases such as methane, a major greenhouse gas 21 times worse than carbon dioxide, are emitted into the atmosphere. Plasma gasification avoids this process entirely 
and because it decreases the overall volume of waste, it has the added benefit of slowing down landfill development. Trucks that haul municipal solid waste to faraway landfills consume diesel and generate carbon dioxide. Plasma gasification eliminates unnecessary truck traffic and to the extent plasma gasifiers displace fossil-fueled power plants, carbon dioxide is further eliminated. Plasma gasification is not incineration and for that reason Gasifying solid waste is better than landfilling it, burning it, or burning the methane it produces when it decomposes. Plasma gasification generates steam and electricity while reducing greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to global warming. Through clean energy alternatives such as plasma gasification, NRG continues to lead the way in providing environmentally responsible energy and reducing greenhouse gases from the next wave of new power generation.